Tom Parker, and you're not going to believe. This is the 2015 Axial Fest pre-drivers meeting. Why is it pre? Because it's Axial Fest. And as of right now, hey, thank you at home because we have right at 500 pre-registered drivers showing up. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you guys a uh, that your first timers, if you will, a pre-drivers meeting to help you understand what a Recon G6 is and enhance your experience at Axial Fest. First and foremost, rules. Very simple. There's only like three. First one, no hand of God, or what we, we call hogging. So no hogging a vehicle. What is, what is the hand of God? Take this Jeep G6 rig here. If you find yourself on your side, do not take your hand and flip it over. That means don't use your foot. This isn't your backyard. This is Axial Fest 2015, the 10th anniversary. So how would you recover this, you ask? Easy. Your, you have an option to penalty winch. Penalty winch is using your mandatory toe strap in a scale fashion. So you would hook it onto your rig and you would upright your vehicle. Now, if you do it that way in your driver's logbook, we'll talk about in a minute, you would put a tick in the winch penalty section. Now, if you do not want a penalty, a winching penalty, you can have assistance from another G6er. You can, uh, who can winch you back over. They can pull you over the strap. Or sometimes it's just a simple bumping you uh, with their truck to get you back on your tires. You can do any of those without a penalty. The only time you receive a winching penalty is when you use your mandatory toe strap yourself. That includes getting over an obstacle. Speaking of obstacles, if you get to an obstacle, you're having a hard time with it, try it two or three times. If you can't make it on the third attempt and you still want to do the obstacle, please drive aside, let some drivers go through, and then try it again. If not, you put your toe strap on and pull yourself through the obstacle and then, get it, then mark it down as a penalty. Now, you can have a person that navigated the obstacle pull you through for no penalty. That's perfectly acceptable. As a matter of fact, trail etiquette, helping each other, the camaraderie that you're going to experience at this Axial Fest is second to none. It's unlike any other experience. It just comes natural. People are helping each other. They know to get through a Recon G6 stage, sooner or later you're going to need help or you're going to have to help someone. Um, teamwork makes the dream work. So, the finishing a Recon G6 is like winning. winning a G6. Yes, thank you. All right, next thing is, is the stage. We have trail markers. Trail markers are real straightforward. The number trail marker is always on your right. That's your route of direction. These trail markers are your guide to fun. They're not always the obstacle. If you do happen to hit one, make a tick in your driver's logbook in the appropriate you know, box, trail markers. Make a tick. Now, even if you drive your axial scale adventure rig in reverse, always keep the trail marker on your right, not your truck's right. So sometimes you may need to reverse through these trail markers. Always keep the trail marker on your right. Always do them in, in numbered order. So one through whatever. Now, speaking of our driver's logbook, this year's Axial Fest, we have six sections to the stage. Each section is colored by a different color. A, B, C, D, E, F, G we'll get to later. Then we have, they all have an assigned color. Your driver's logbook has a colored section for each stage section that you drive. Make sure you're marking your trail marker penalties, your winch penalties in the appropriate box. This will help you out, it'll help us out because we're 
looking for that driver of the day. Yeah, we need to earn that driver of the day. The way you earn that driver of the day, fill your driver's logbook out completely. That means name, class. You have a note section. Any notes you might find is out of the ordinary. Maybe there's a uh, maybe there's a trail marker on your left that has two of these on top of each other. That might be a good thing to say, hey, trail marker 210, there was two left-hand trail markers. I find that odd. Might be something to put on your notes. Another thing you want to put on your notes, anytime you do a special driving challenge or driver challenge. So driving challenge, for example, this is Axial Fest. What do we do at Axial Fest? Hey, we float our rigs. Not mandatory, but highly recommended. Build a raft to float your rig down the river or up the river because your raft can be self-propelled or self-propelled. It's entirely up to you how you want to build your raft. And if you don't want to build a raft, no worries. It's not going to affect so much your, your Axial Fest experience, but it is a special driving challenge to float your rig. Now, another driving challenge is to have a scale boat or raft or inner tube on your rig because we will have a float your boat challenge this year. When you do those challenges, write that in your notes section. Completed, float my rig. Completed, float my boat. Completed, a driver challenge. What's a driver challenge, you ask? What do you ask? I'm going to tell you. That's a surprise. You're going to have to show up, Axial Fest 2015, 10th anniversary edition, to find out what could possibly be a driver challenge this year. You're good. All right. Now, another driving challenge you may encounter while out on one of the stages in this year's Axial Fest is a ribbon section. Now, in this ribbon section, only drive your rig. Do not walk behind your rig in this ribbon section. It's for vehicles only. Any ribbon section you see is a mandatory driving section. If you're unable to complete it or you're just like, okay, look, there's no way I'm going to do this, write down your notes. Completed driving challenge or did not complete driving challenge. If there's multiples, hey, all you got to do is put a tick behind, completed two out of three, did not complete one out of four, whatever the case might be. That's what your note section is for. This year's Axial Fest, there's no clear dirt. Ah! Ten year anniversary, no clear dirt. But just in case you do come across some clear dirt, a.k.a water keeping it scale not only applies to any of your axial scale adventure rigs whether it be the SCX10 whether it be a Wraith whether it be a Yeti keeping it scale also applies to the Recon G6 stage if you get into water that starts to go over tire depth hey stop back up find another line we're not building submarines we, we want scale depth. So if you get too deep, erg, rethink your line driver. Very important this year. We need each driver to check in and check out. Now Friday night, when you start your stage, the first stage of three, we'll know you're all checked in. When you're completed your sections, and ideally, with six different sections, you should try to do two, two sections per start time. So Friday night, if you start with section A, do section A and B. And then Saturday morning, you have sections C and D. And then Saturday night, you have E and F. If for some reason you had a tough section A, then Saturday morning, check in at G Central and do B, C, and D. It's entirely up to you. What I would suggest is trying to do two sections per leg. Also in your driver's logbook, 
you'll see an area for stamps, hole punches, click click, or stickers. Now, you, when you encounter these on the stage, they're not trail treasures. We'll talk about trail treasures, adventure items here in a minute. These are merely checkpoints, if you will. So when you get to that checkpoint and you see a stamp, stamp your driver's logbook in that appropriate box. When you see a punch, click it in that appropriate box. Put the punch, put the stamp, whatever the case might be, back where you found it for the next G6er so he or she can do the same thing. While you're out on stage, trash pickup. We always do a trail cleanup everywhere we go. We want to leave the place more pristine than how we found it. A lot of places we go to are already pretty clean, uh, but we're always practicing off-road etiquette. Tread lightly. Uh, just because you see a cool section that's off the stage, don't go romping up it. Tread lightly. Stay on the stage. Pack in what you pack out. So when you're ready for a G6, you got your, your camel back on, your backpack, it's loaded. Axial Fest is unlike any other Recon G6 all year long. It's longer. It's full of challenges from start to finish. Be prepared. Take your tools with you. Take some spare parts. Take water. Food. Hey, a flare gun. I don't know. Whatever you feel comfortable with out on stage, take it. You never know what you may need. Bear repellent. Although we've never seen a bear on stage, but bear repellent. You're up in the high Sierra Nevada mountains. Black bears are prominent up there. So, bear repellent. I'm going to add that to my list personally. Be prepared. Be smart. We want everyone to finish a Recon G6. Because finishing a Recon G6 is like... Winning a G6. Winning yes. a Recon G6. Winning a Recon G6. If you do have a breakdown and you're unable to fix that on stage, hey, pick your rig up, take it back to your pits, make your repairs, go back to where you broke, and continue G6. We want everyone to finish. Have fun. All right. Earlier I mentioned trail treasures or adventure items. What are those you may ask? Well, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. So while you're out G6ing, you may, you may come across hey, what appears to be a flower, right? Take that flower, place it on your rig, continue on your adventure. Turn this in when you check out of the stage. Very important. Check in, check out. Even if you break down and are unable to finish, come by G Central let us know. Hey, my name is Parker. I am unable to finish this stage. I need to take a DNF and let us know that you DNF that stage. There's nothing wrong with it. But please check out. Stage items, put on your rig. Drive back with it. Another example of uh, stage items would be like, like this guy who at one point in time netted this lucky driver a brand new Axial RTR. So you never know what a stage item is going to have attached to it. You know, another idea of a stage item? This little guy. Stage item. Don't know what he is? Google it. Alright. So, stage items. You never know what they might be. Whatever they are, put them on your rig. Some might be large, some might be small, put them on your rig. Don't come back to GCMs and be like, hey, hey, hey. Look what I found. I'm gonna be like, hey, that's cool. Good job. But it's not gonna be worth anything. In order to collect what that stage item's worth, whether it's a time bonus, whether it's a smile, whether it's an RTR rig, it must be returned on your Axial Scale Adventure rig. So that is your pre-driver's meeting for Axial Fest 2015 the 10th anniversary edition. 
But before we go, we got a couple of little special items we want to talk about. First, your aluminum foil hats. Aluminum foil hats are mandatory, and it represents the 10th anniversary. Friday night, mandatory. Everyone, aluminum foil hat. Whatever you desire. Be creative, use your imagination. It is required, it's mandatory. Now, Saturday, if you want to continue wearing your aluminum foil hat, people will randomly come up and say, hey look, nice aluminum foil hat, congratulations. And you're gonna get some swag. But you gotta be wearing your aluminum foil hat on Saturday. Saturday night, for those of you that have been to Axel Fest before, you know Saturday night, we always have a dance theme. We've done disco. We've done 80s big hair bands. For the 10th anniversary, we are doing the sock hop. Our socks need to be axial out. We need to theme them. Anniversary edition. Include as many sponsors as you can get on those socks. Hey, we've got so many sponsors here, you might have to have some thigh high socks. Decorate them up. Decoupage. Picasso. Bubble paint. Hey. Spray can paint. Graffiti something. The best pair of socks. Dancing. Huh? Well, that might not be a sock. <laughs> you might not be ready for that. But your kids are going to love it. Saturday night is going to win something. And it ain't going to be no little something. It might be a big something. So... Make your socks. It's not mandatory, but highly recommended. I suggest getting creative, having fun. We're going to do a little, uh, why is it the 50s theme? I keep thinking happy days. We're going to have happy days in our socks Saturday night, 10th anniversary edition of Axial Fest. Saturday night, when you're done with your stage and we do a award ceremony and have the big, uh, Raffle, which is, by the way, based on your wristband. Do not take your wristband off the entire weekend when you get it. There were some last year that did and burnt them in the fire. They were unable to collect their prizes. Some of them was, was a kit and an RTR because they did not have their the wristband. So do not remove that wristband until you get home. That's very important. When you come up to that award ceremony and raffle, look, bring your most comfortable camp chair and bring a piece of firewood. Two or three be welcome, but one piece of firewood with you because we will have a, a fire going during the raffle event and during the award ceremony. All right. The Recon G6 family is made up of drivers all over the world. This is a, Axial Fest is a family fun event. Keep your favorite beverage drinking in your pits, please, around your campsites. Do not do it out on the trail. Um, have fun. We have our Recon Rascals, our 15 and under drivers out there as well. So keep, uh, keep the colorful language to a minimum. Have fun. Uh, embrace what is really what I consider the Woodstock of RC events. If you've never experienced a large scale RC event, there's nothing like it on the planet. Axial Fest is not just an event, it's a destination. It is, it is a, a pilgrimage to something that is, I can't even put it into words. It's, it's a whole new, like, ah, uh, it's amazing. You have to experience Axial Fest. Float your rig challenge. Nothing like it on the planet. Not mandatory, highly recommended. I, I recommend you partake in it. Truly amazing. Float your boat challenge. Look, Scale Adventure Rigs should have a boat on their, on their rig. Put a boat on your rig, put a raft, put a put an inner tube, scale inner tube. That's one of my best ones I've seen. Embrace everything. Join everything. Hey, 
the sock hop. It's not mandatory, but highly recommended. I suggest you start now, get the, get your recon rascals together, and you all make socks for the sock hop as a family together. You never know what you might get out of it. I'm Parker, and look, we're going to be at the 2015 Axial's 10th anniversary Axial Fest. I hope to see you there. Axial hopes to see you there. People at home that can't make it, they hope to see you there because they want to they want to watch what's going on. I know there's 500 of y'all already coming. Yeah, I said 500. That's five goose egg, goose egg. Already coming. Even though pre-registration is closed, look, same day registration, show up. Get your axial rig dialed. Hey, it doesn't have to be clean. Look, bring mud from across the country. Lord knows this mud has from six, seven states. Put your rig in the car, grab some buddies, make the pilgrimage to Axial Fest 2015, the 10th anniversary edition. You don't want to miss it. Hey, don't watch it from afar. Jump in your car. Come drive with us. I'm just excited. I'm ready to go. Okay. I look like a midget with my dress on. Mm-hmm. <laughs>